2 News Oklahoma, now with a weather alert. The showers and storms that came in early this morning are still on the radar scan here at the noon hour, but more towards the south and a couple of flash flood warnings here outlined in the green polygons. That does include just northwest of Old Mulgee, encompassing Beggs and Winchester, down towards the Bully area and also Okima right along the Interstate 40 corridor. Up towards the Tulsa area, Jinx and Broken Arrow out towards Catoosa and many other locations. We are finally starting to dry out and some partial clearing is on the way for later this afternoon and some of those light to moderate showers across far eastern Oklahoma and especially in throughout northwest Arkansas. Now this has just been updated by the Storm Prediction Center. So after we get rid of those showers this afternoon, another round of showers and storms comes in tonight and overnight and some of those could be strong to severe. So Tulsa is highlighted in that slight risk category, a level two out of five and especially up towards the north, the south and back off towards the west. We're expecting showers and storms to fire up west of Interstate 35 and along the interstate and then propagate off towards the east. We're going to take a look at that. Then Saturday night through Sunday morning, probably staying outside of our forecast area, but then another chance of strong to severe storms rolling in Sunday afternoon through Sunday evening, and that does include northeast Oklahoma and southeast Kansas. The pollen report for green country, high for grasses and trees, low for mold spores and also weeds. Still cloudy conditions at the Tulsa International Airport. A live look from our Wade's RV weather camera network. The current temperature holding down because of the cloud cover at 72 degrees. South southwesterly winds upwards of five miles per hour and so far our daytime high today was 79 but that occurred just after midnight last night. Take a look at the difference of those temperatures. So where we have some clearing it is into the 80s. Stigler at 82. Stigler uh, has been into the low 80s for quite some time now. 82 in McAllister up to Towards Stillwater, upper 70s and 80 out in Ponca City. On the visible satellite picture over the past couple of hours, still all that cloud cover over northeast Oklahoma, but we're expecting some clearing to come in for this afternoon. But again, overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning, another chance of showers and storms. So again, those developing here out towards the west and then propagating off towards the east. So later tonight and overnight, and some of those storms could be strong to severe with a wind and hail threat. Then by early in the morning, all of those showers and storms will move out of the area and then back Back to dry conditions this afternoon going for the mid 80s southeasterly winds between 5 and 15 daytime highs into the 80s all dependent on how much sunshine you see with those morning lows down into the 60s in Tulsa at 67 by the morning with more showers and storms tonight with that 90% chance of rain showers your latest 10 day forecast into the upper 80s to right around 94 this weekend again another chance of showers and storms on Sunday and on Tuesday and unfortunately next weekend for the PGA Championship. Championship.